Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I'll be letting you know the Māori All Black squad that is going head to head with the Irish in the upcoming July internationals. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's, let's get straight into the squad. Right, so the Māori All Blacks have very recently been announced. There are quite a few new caps in here, and we will be going through every single one of them, starting now with the forwards. And it is going to be the hookers that we look at first. First of all, Lenny Apisai, a man who played for many clubs throughout Super Rugby Pacific. He was juggling pretty much around every single region, but he is now selected in the Māori All Blacks, and it will be awesome to see him in action. Then the next name, Kua Eklund, a man who some felt he was pretty unlucky to miss out on the All Black selection, but he has made it into the side, and we'll be getting to go head to head with the Irish in those warm-up matches. And then Tyrone Thompson, he is going to be a new cap for the Māori All Blacks in the hooker department, so a big opportunity for him. And we will have to wait and see how he goes. Now looking through at the props, it is going to be Jermaine Ainsley getting his first chance in the Māori ABs kit. Then it is Tyrell Lomax, Oli Norris, Marcel Renata, and then Tamaiti Williams. So certainly some dangerous scrummages there for the Māori All Blacks. And they're going to need them up against Ireland because Ireland bring a massive punch. But the Māori All Blacks, they bring the passion. And it should be very entertaining to see those two matches take place. Now looking through at the locks, actually not that many. For the Māori All Blacks, it is Josh Dixon, Manukai Selby Ricker, and then Isaiah Walker, Leo Were, all men who had pretty solid seasons of Super Rugby Pacific, but they have got a couple other options in the loose forward trio that could maybe pop in there if they really need them due to an injury. But with it only being two games, you would think they would be able to get out of it, hopefully injury-free. Another loose forwards, Caleb Delaney getting his new cap here. Then it is Billy Harmon, TK Howden makes his way into the side. So another Hurricanes player, Getting an opportunity, and then Reed Princip, and then Cameron Sua Fua. He's been playing very well for the Blues. He hasn't had a lot of minutes, but any time he makes his way out onto the park, he is certainly one to watch out for. Now the backs, two massive halfbacks for the Māori All Blacks here. TJ Perinata will be having his debut for the Māori ABs, and then Brad Weaver as the other options. Those two, they are huge options for them to be able to use, and whoever starts, whoever finishes the match, you know that they're going to give it 110%. Now Joshuani. He is going to be one of the fly half options. The other option on debut for the Māori ABs, it is Ruben Love. We'll get the opportunity. He has been playing very well for the Hurricanes. So we'll be hoping to continue that. Heading into this next match, then Alex Nankavel, Rameka Poyapi, Billy Proctor, and then Balen Sullivan on debut. And overall, that list of four players, they have all played very well throughout the Super Rugby Pacific season. Definitely, I would say Balen Sullivan. As one to watch out for, Alex Nankavel, he's had a very solid season as well. Uh, it will be an awesome opportunity for some of these guys to get a couple caps to their name. Now looking through at the outside backs, Connor Garden Bishop, he is going to be there. Josh Morby on debut, he certainly deserves it the way that he played throughout Super Rugby Pacific. He was outstanding, getting himself about eight or nine tries for the Hurricanes, and he was really a class act, so I'm hoping he can replicate that into this side. Then it will be Sean Stevenson, and then the last name, another new cap, for the Māori ABs, it is Zahn Sullivan. So his brother also getting the opportunity at the same time. It will be a very proud moment for the Sullivan family. But that is the Māori All Black side. It is a relatively small side, but they have only got those two matches, like I mentioned, up against Ireland. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Do let me know who you think will win out of the Māori All Blacks or Ireland in their upcoming series. Unless, I will see you all for the next one.